absolutely love all of these, but for some reason, I prefer this one. What's up my friends, it's Rayback here, and you guessed it, today we're going to be talking about, once again, one of my favorite Nintendo handhelds to date, the 2DS. Now remember when this little guy was first announced and people were just bashing it and just criticizing it at every corner? It was like, oh, I'll leave it alone! But now that we've basically all had the chance to give it a try, the 2DS actually makes a lot of sense, and it really proved all those naysayers wrong. A few years ago, you may recall that I made a video comparing the 2DS to the 3DS and 3DS XL. This is before the new 3DS came out with the C-Stick and updated processor. But to this very day, even though all those models have the same specs and graphics, I still get comments asking if I prefer the 2DS and if I still use it. To answer all those questions right here, right now, I say yes and yes. I absolutely love the 2DS and I still prefer to use it over my new 3DS and 3DS XL, which is one of those things that just makes you say, what in the world? So why is that you may ask well here are some of the reasons first up you probably guessed it already is that old school design the one thing everyone criticized it for is the one thing that i love the most sure it looks like a doorstop but it has that retro old school game boy feel when you play it and it is awesome. I grew up with the original Game Boy, so this is honestly like a blast from the past. Next up is comfort. As with design, holding this thing for long periods of time is an absolute joy. It feels great, especially for playing games like Pokemon. It honestly brings back the days of playing on the Game Boy Color for me. Next up at number three is not really exclusive to the 2DS, but it works extremely well, is backwards compatibility, which means that you have access to not only the 3DS library of games, but also the Nintendo DS library of games, which is an insane collection of titles. But it doesn't stop there, because that old school design comes back into play with the virtual console. So you can pretty much go back even further before the Nintendo DS with the Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and all those titles where that old school design really, really brings back those memories. It is really cool. Next up in the semifinals at number four, we have the price. After a recent price cut, the 2DS is down to only $80, and that includes the system with a free copy of Mario Kart 7. There really has not been a better time to hop on the 3DS bandwagon than there has now. An $80 console that gives you access to such a vast library of games is such a steal of a deal. And finally, the number one reason besides the hardware itself is, you probably guessed it already, the library of games. Obviously, this reason isn't specific to the 2DS itself since it plays all 3DS games, but no matter which model you decide to go with, the 3DS family has arguably one of the best lineups of any handheld to date. Seriously, if you want to be kept busy for hours on end, the 2DS is the perfect entry point, and the price is a steal. Alrighty guys, that's about it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to leave a comment down in the comments box down below. Let me know what you think of the Nintendo 2DS. Do you have a 2DS? Do you use a 3DS, 3DS XL, new 3DS? I would love to know your thoughts down in the comments box down below, and you can be featured at the end of one of my videos. Alrighty guys, that's about it. Be sure to subscribe for much, much more coming your way because there is so much planned. And I think I'm going to go play some games or something because there's a lot to play out there. So guys, I will see you later. Peace.